friends, and welcome back to another episode of Stuff and Things. I'm Dan. And I'm Mia. And this is our daily news show where we bring you stories from Canada and the world. With the Olympic Games on right now, athletes doping to gain an edge in competition is a popular topic. So we're going to discuss it, because it's popular. So far, there have been about 10 athletes booted from the games, and the latest was an American judoka for cannabis in his system. Cannabis. Really? Hey, that's thunder. I wasn't aware that cannabis enhanced physical activity. A future worry for officials is the possibility of gene therapy being used to alter athletes in ways that are undetectable right now. Being termed as genetic doping, it's exactly what it sounds like. Companies will find genes that can improve a person's speed, endurance, or strength, then using techniques already used to help people with genetic disorders, transfer the genes. You might be thinking, okay, just get a test done before the competition, and if the genes are different, then clearly it's doping. The only problem with that is that this is going to be most likely starting at a very young age. Right now, parents can buy kits for their kids to test that they have the gene ACTN3, which is apparently the sports gene. Now, this may all seem kind of science fiction-y to you, but most of what we have available to us nowadays, 50 years ago, was pretty much unthinkable. So let's just hope we don't screw things up too bad and make a new race or something. Or, you know, Quizzer's Hatterack and stuff. You know, Banjo Jesuits. Now, this whole topic does raise some very interesting ethical questions. Like, is it okay to actually specifically craft someone to do a certain function? Or is this just another type of slavery we might be going down towards? I'd like, really know what you guys think. If this could be an accepted form of entertainment, we actually make our performers. Let us know in the comments down below. And if you've liked what you've seen today, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you at the end of the day.